I think, you know, it takes a little time to shake the republicanism. You know, when you're from <laughs> over there, it takes a little bit of time to drift this long, long path over to the that we call with the real America and what it's really about, you know, working people. And uh, Harlan, over his career, has had about a 68, 70% voting record. And two years ago, he voted with us. And, and we think he's, when it comes down to the push and shove, uh, we would hope that he's going to be there. Um, have you had any discussions uh, before tonight with We've him? had a lot of discussions. I don't think there's a week goes by where we don't have a discussion about uh, about this issue, and like many other senators, we talk about the health care issue coming up, the Kennedy Bacchus thing that happened today, and coming to a compromise. We, we you know, we got some problems with that, but um, I'm, I'm glad he's here at the Democratic Party. I'd rather have him on our side than on the other side, and I think it's easier for to convince him from within this arena of the Democratic Party than it is from being where he was at. And uh, we hoped it would be a lot more easier. And they got more, um, okay, you know, so much uh, camaraderie we would hope for. But, uh, you know, we in the labor movement, unlike the party, we, you know, it's all about a means test for us. We evaluate people not on their party stance, but on their, on the issues. And it takes two thirds of our full board to get an endorsement to the, Demo to, to the candidate. And, and uh, so it's quite a challenge. It isn't something where you go and scramble 50 people together and say, we got the majority, let's endorse somebody. And it's, it's always been. We've been with our inspector. We've been against our inspector. I go back to the days when Edgar, when, when the United Steelworkers uh, supported Edgar for Congress, uh, for from the U.S. Senate from that district where Sestax at right now. It's kind of funny. After all these years, it's the geographicals come back to play again. <laughs> and uh, but uh, I think it'll be a good uh, a good Democrat. I think it's strong for the Obama uh, administration and. Uh, and I would hope that uh, the House of Labor and our inspector come to more medical uh, result in this whole process. So I, I uh, Arlen's, uh, Arlen's feeling the heat. You said it's a means He's test. Feeling, How crucial is his It's vote very on? crucial, very crucial. Uh, I don't want to say it's a final litmus test, but it's very, very crucial. Have you talked to Congressman Sestak at all? And no, it's funny, you? I haven't. It's not because I don't think uh, we don't respect each other. It's I hear rumors about it. And, and if he's uh, really, really serious, I'm sure that he'll make a call. Somebody said he might be here tonight. I was hoping to see him. Uh, I know there's a, is it? Well, good. We'll stop over and say hello to him. But uh, our door's wide open for all candidates at this time. Uh, Does Speaker say he's going to come out to your rally tomorrow? I invited him. I invited him last week ago. I, you know, this is not an anti on Specter uh, rally. This is a, uh, he's going to be there tomorrow. I got a feeling he's going to stop over. When you were on a, or and, I think, and I really think he should, and let me tell you why, he should do the cloture vote, at least. Now, some people say, well, Billy, you know that's the real vote. But the fact that it mattered two years ago, he, he, uh, he gave us the uh, uh, cloture vote. If people listen carefully, he didn't say he was gonna do what he was going to do on the floor, but obviously he had some, 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 some slight idea that it would never come to the floor. Well, if some of those reasons are true today, of um, us not having enough Democrats, or the Minnesota senator doesn't get seated. That's all the more the same reasons two years ago he should be voting for telling people I'm for the culture now.